So what do you do when a clown moves into your neighborhood? Well, I can tell you what a clown does. When I bought my home in Sunset, it was a shocker to a lot of my neighbors. First of all, when I first got this home, there was no garage on it. So it would entail that whenever it was a day that I had performances, that I would have to carry lots of equipment back and forth in and out of the house I'd go until the car was loaded and then I'd take off. I always did this after I was in full costume and full makeup because I didn't want my animals to be in the car unless I was in the car. Well, I always had a strange feeling that somebody was watching me and I couldn't quite figure it out. Well, one day, I'd been doing this now for a month or so and still had that eerie feeling that someone was watching me. And one day as I was going into the house, I made a quick pivot and turned around. And just as I did, I saw across the street, the curtains go. I got it. That's where the person was. She was hiding behind her curtains and peeking out and watching me. Well, you know how you can look sort of, but you're not looking directly at. I did that and I would see that there was an eye following me all over back and forth. This went on for months until I finally built a garage. Now the other part of, you know, being a clown and a little bit weird is that on Saturdays, after doing a long show, I'd be dirty and stinky, but I had to get the lawn mowed. And so, because I'd leave early in the morning and you can't mow a lawn too early, I'd have to wait until I got done at the end of the day. I didn't want to go in and shower and get all cleaned up and then go back out and mow the lawn. Um, mowing the lawn can be a mess. I have uh, a yard that's just under a quarter of an acre. So when I get through with my show, unload all of my props and animals, I just pull my wig off and my nose and I'd get on my riding lawnmower and I'd mow my yard. I always started in the back because I felt a little embarrassed. You know, a clown with the white face and in my costume, just no wig on. I was just intent on getting that yard mowed and then going in and showering. Well, something strange started happening. Once again, people were getting a little freaky over the clown in the neighborhood. When I noticed cars were going by. It was sort of like they were driving slow and I was wondering if I was going to get shot. It's like they're doing a little drive by. But nothing ever happened and I didn't think too much of it. I did notice that on Saturdays, when it was time to mow my lawn, it seemed like a lot of people were driving by. Well, I'd live in, lived in Sunset for several years before someone finally fessed up and said that... Uh, the first day that they drove by and saw a clown on a riding lawnmower in their neighborhood, they went home and made calls so people could come by and see the clown riding the lawnmower. I'm like, so was it a big family event? Hey, Ethel, load the kids up. Fifi's on the rider again. Let's go by so kids can see how a clown lives. Anyway, I had a lot of fun, and with today's world and clowns, I'm really glad I retired. I am just so sad that there's so many bad clowns out there. Till next time, friends.